Hello. In this video, we are just going to write some if statements, and we're going to do some things with strings. And we're specifically going to look at a way to tell um, alphabetical order of strings, and a really common issue that people will run into. Um, just a note, you'll notice I jump between uh, Sublime Text um, and JetBrains, PyCharm. I, I move around between IDs. I think it's good to familiarize yourself with a few. If you're a younger programmer, I, I suggest Sublime Text. Um, if you, as you get a little better, something like PyCharm is good, but don't let that throw you off. It's all the same. It just happens to be when I run a program in PyCharm, I can just tell it to run, run it right through the program without having to go to the terminal. Okay, so let's start off by taking an input. Let's say um, name1 equals input. What is your name? What is, actually, just instead of names, let's do word1. What is the first word? And then I'm going to say word2 and put what is the second word. Okay, so I can take these two inputs. And again, I always like to think of the input process output model. Um, it's helpful when we're thinking about these early types of questions. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to say if word1 it's equivalent to word two, then we can print the words are the same. Um, and if we run this, what is the first word? Paul, what is the second word? Stephanie, nothing happens because they're not the same. If we run this, what is the first word? Paul, what is the second word? Paul, the words are the same. Very nice. Um, let's put an else on here. Print. The words are different. So the first thing to note is that you can compare strings in Python using a double equal sign. Not all languages can do that. So be really careful if you're programming in, say, Java, and you try and do this, your program will, will run, but there, there's a logic error that will occur. You, often you can't compare strings using a straight equivalent sign. So if I run this, first word, Paul, second word, Stephanie, the words are different. OK. Um, let's, let's try this. Um, let's take this a little bit more detailed. So let's say, instead of else, let's do elif, and we're going to say word one is less than word two. Well, we could do print. The word, the first word is before the second, alphabetically. Let's just shrink this down a little bit. There you go. Okay, uh, word two. And I could do then, you could just put a straight else here, and I could say the second word first. Okay, so if I run this now and I put cat, dog, the first word is before the second word word. There we go. Um, if I put dog, cat, oop, let's just try again. Let's put dog, where am I? There we go. Dog, cat. The second word is before the first word alphabetically. Okay. Let's see what happens if they have the same letter. So D, dog, and dog. Words are the same. Yep. Um, if I put D-O and D-A, Good. Okay, so this seems to work. So this is a nice way to check alphabetical order. But you'll notice all my test cases have been lowercase letters. Watch what happens if I uppercase them. Cat um, and cat. Well, what we expect here is for them to say the words are equal. But what it says is the first word is before the second word alphabetically, which isn't really the case. You see, the way Python and, and in all languages, manage strings and compare them, is it actually, it will change each character into a number and go through this kind of analysis process by looking at the numbers. How it does it, I'm not exactly sure. But what, what I can tell you is that each letter, each character will get converted to a number. So there's this mapping that occurs. So the problem that's happening is, is, is that the computer, even though you see cat and cat as the same word, the computer doesn't. 
So one way to get around this is to convert all the words to upper or lower case and then do your comparison. So I'm going to do this one way and then but I want you to think about there's a little issue that I'm going to have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take word one and I'm going to do a self-referencing assignment statement and what that means is that I'm going to use word one I'm going to do something to word one and then I'm going to put it into word one. I'm going to put word one dot upper. Um, then I'm going to say word two equals word two dot upper. So what that does is that converts both word one and word two to uppercase letters. So if I put in cat and cat they both get converted to capital C-A-T and now the comparison works perfectly fine. Now I said to you before I started that there's one minor issue here. So what is it? Well the issue is that I've actually changed the inputs from the user. If I print word 1 and I print word 2 at the end and I run them and now I put cat and cat, they both get printed out as capital letter words. And that, that could be a problem. What we want to be very careful of is we want to be very careful when we change the state of an input from the user. Now there's a couple solutions to this um, depending on what you want to do. The first solution would be to do something where you say word1.upper, word2.upper. So when you do your comparison you actually convert them to uppercase right there. Like that. So now what we've done is we've taken word1, converted it to upper and then compare it to word2, converted it to upper. Straightforward. And if I run this, this sure enough works cat, cat, no problem. The, the, the design issue here is that you're running upper four times. Um, and again, this is a pretty simple case, four times isn't a big deal, but I could, you know, we could pretty easily come up with a situation where there might be multi more comparisons occurring. So another way to do this would be to, as opposed to converting them to upper here, what we could do is we could word word one temp equals word one dot upper and word two temp equals word two dot upper. And then what we can do is we can compare that temporary variable. And that will work the same way. The difference is that I'm just converting the word one to upper once here, whereas if I did it the other way, I'd have to do it in two spots. Sorry, here and here. Again, for the purpose of this program, not a big issue. But as you start getting into more complicated programs or programs are running, um, say, say we're running this a million or a hundred million times, those extra comparisons can actually add up to have an impact on your code. And let's just give this a run. So I'm going to run, what is the first word? Cat, cat. The words are the same. I hope that helped. Have a great day.